Hello my dear student. Today we will talk about area of triangles. Well, first of all, we need to know that this line represents the base of triangle. And that line represents height. How we can find area of triangle? Area of triangle equal half times base times height. Well, and we should know that A represents area. Remove that. The letter A, the letter A re represents area, and B represents base. H represents height. Okay. So, let's say it again. Area of triangle equal half times base times height. Okay. Well, let's see the first question we have today. He want from you find the area of each triangle. Well, if we look carefully in the picture that we have, you will see that he gave you two numbers. So one of that, one of these two numbers represents the base, and the other one represents height. So if we look carefully, you will see that the base here is six and the height is four. So first of all, let's write the rule. It's half times base times height, right? Now let's represent this letter with the answer. So that will be half times six, because the base here is six times height, and that will be four. Well, to find the answer in easy way, you can make half times six first, this part, then the answer you will make it times four. So, for example, half times 6 equal 3, and 3 times 4 equal 12. Okay? And because that is area, so that will be 12 centimeters square. Okay? Because this is area. He asked for me to find the area. Let's see the next question. We're still in the same required. He wants me to find the area of triangle. So, who can tell me the area here will be what? And first of all, tell me the rule. What is the rule? Area of triangle equal what? Come on, tell me. Great, I can hear you. That will be how? Time, base, times, height. Super, my dear. Equal. How? Times, five, times, five. Super. Okay. Here he wants for me to make times for three numbers. Okay, to make it easy in yourself, let's make it in parts. So let's make five times five, and the result we will get it from it, we will make it times half. Hmm. Who can tell me five times five equal? Great, I can he hear one of you tell me it's equal 25. So that will be half times 25. And that's equal, my dear, 12.5. And because it's area, like we said before, that will be inches square. Don't forget that half, if you want to write it as a decimal, that will equal 0.5. Okay? Because when we write it as a decimal, it's make easy on us to find the answer in easy way. Okay? Let's see the next one. Now stop the video. I guess now you're able to answer any question in correct way, right? And I guess you set the table. Uh, I guess you set the rule. Well, let me tell you the rule before you start, okay? Because I I love you guys, so let me try to help you. Okay, area of triangle equal half time base times height. Okay, don't forget. Now, my dear, what you, what we gonna do? I want for me to stop the video. Try to solve this question alone, but don't forget to, to write the rule before you, you write the answer, okay? So, you want for me to write the rule, then make the steps to get uh, or to find the area of this triangle. So, stop the video, try to solve it, then play the video again, compare your answer with mine, but before you do that, I'm sure your answer will be correct. Come on, stop the video and I'm waiting for you. Okay, welcome back my dears. So let's solve it together. 
So, first of all, I want for me to tell me the rule. Yeah, great! I can hear one of you tell me the area of triangle equal half times base times height. That's a great. Equal. Equal what? Half times 7 times 6. Great. And that's equal what, my dear? We can make it in two parts. You can make half times six. What's the half of the six is three. And three times seven equals 21. And don't forget, like we said before, because it's area, so that will be feet square. Okay? Great. And I'm sure your answer is correct, so you get a star. <laughs> Super. Let's see the next one. Okay, he won't for me to find the area again. So I guess now it became so easy, right? And I guess it's more easy because you only deal in this lesson was one row. So it's so easy. Great, my dear. So let's write the area of triangle. Tell me, the area of triangle equal? Perfect, my dear. It's half times base times height. So that will equal half times eight times five. So let's say the rule again. Area equal half times base times height, and that will equal half times eight half times eight times five. Because the base here is five, the height is the base here is 8, the height here is 5. So, half times 8 times 5 equal what? Who can tell me? Hmm, take your time, then tell me. Super, that will be 20 inch square. Great, my job. Great, my, great my student. Perfect. Okay, let's see the next question. Let's solve this question together. He tell you that. A rectangular flag has a base of 18 centimeter and a height of 30 centimeter. What is the area of the flag? So he wants for me to find the area, and don't forget to tell this flag in the shape of triangle. So we deal here with triangle. So tell me the rule of area of triangle. It's equal what, my dear? Super. That's equal half times base times height. Let's get back for the, the question to find the base and the height. And the height. He tells you that has a base of 18. So the 18 here, it's a base. And height of 3. So 3 is the height. So now we know the base is 18 and the height is 3. So equal half times 18 times 3. Now, my dear, I know that it's neat for me to make the steps, but I want for me to answer this question alone. So stop the video, take your time, take the whole time that you need, try to solve it. Then when you get the result, play the video again, tell me your answer is what, okay? I'm waiting for you. Welcome back, my dear. So before I write the answer, tell me, your answer is what? Yeah, is what? Super, I can hear you. Really great job. That will be 270. Super, my dear. And don't forget, because it's area, we will make it centimeter square, right? That's a great. Now, Habibi, we finish our session. I hope you understand the lesson and you like it because it's I, I, I see it as the most easy lesson that you take that you will take it. I like this lesson. So I hope you understand the lesson and see you next time. Bye.